Hi, my name is Krista Hamilton. Welcome to the training videos for the online economics and personal finance course. Uh, what we're going to look at in this video is we are going to examine instructions in the honor policy for completing your lessons, which are considered your class time for the course, and for completing the lesson assessments, which are going to be considered the homework for the class uh, that you're looking at. Now, typically the lesson and lesson assessments, it should take you no more than around 45 minutes to complete them. Uh, some students will be able to complete the lesson and the lesson assessment in less than 45 minutes. Some can do it in as much or as fast as 15 or 20 minutes. Um, some of you who might read a little slower may take a little bit longer for that on average. It says 45 minutes, but in my experience, most people can complete a lesson and a lesson assessment in about 20 minutes. Uh, now, taking a look at uh, the lesson. So we're assuming that you're already done all the beginning um, instructions, the beginning modules for the course. Um, I'm just going to pick up here in module seven and use that as an example to show you how to complete a lesson in the course. Now, typically, as you're going through those, like here's an example of uh, July 22nd activities to complete today, which would be the beginning of the personal finance course. And so pretty much it's going to tell you that you're going to work on your module seven and so on um, and complete 82 to 87. In the summer, you would complete um, about a week's worth of assignments in one day. Uh, which, of course, you would have an entire week during the school year to complete. Now, typically from here, all you really have to do is click the next button down here. It'll take you to the items that you are to look at. Now, the components of a lesson. There are five components. One is going to be the opening activity. This screen is pretty much just something that you have to view um, when you look at it. So you need to read it. Um, it is not something that you just click on and then move on. Um, there is not a minimum time requirement, but certainly part of the honor policy for the lesson is that you're actually reading the material that is presented to you. Um, so you would go through and you would read through the information on the opening activity, and then you would come down here and click next when you are done with that. Now the objectives are important in that these are the items that you are going to focus on while you are reading this lesson. So you will um, basically look at your objectives and read through any standards of learning that you have here. And so pretty much, and again, not a lot of time on this slide, but you should at least make sure that you're reading through the material, looking that you're supposed to be examining the effective supply and demand, that you should be um, looking at information on calculating your net pay, that you're examining the market value of a worker's skills and knowledge, uh, understanding what human capital is and the resulting income potential. So there's a lot of different things that you are looking at in this lesson, okay? And then you'll hit next. And then this gets to kind of the main portion of the uh, assignment. Now, up here is a little toggle that says mark as done or, um, and it was said done because I've kind of been through this lesson uh, several times. But basically what the honor policy is and what you're going to do for your class time is you are going to read through the content. The content is the main portion of the lesson. Uh, the first two, the objective and the um, opening activity. Uh, those are pretty much you only have to view those. Uh, for the content though, you do need to make sure that you complete the items. So as you scroll down, now I've been through this once, so I'm just going to click off the where it's going to asking me whether or not I want to resume. Um, but basically as you work through the lesson and through the content, if there is say a screen like this where you have a like kind of like a PowerPoint almost, Anytime you see the next button, which is right down here, you do want to make sure that you click the next button and view all of the slides that are there. So you, so you would read this, and then you would click your next, and you would read the next slide, and then continue. And like you'll see that you're here, you are basically finished once you see that it says restart, so that you've done all the items on that. 
And then scrolling down, they have, you know, several things where they might have things that you use as PowerPoints to kind of go through. As you're reading the information, what you want to do is you want to look for where you have this next button because you do want to make sure that you're clicking the next button and going through each of the items that is presented to you. So, you know, reading through the questions that they are talking about and so on. All right, and then later on, as you know, here's some information. You'll read through the paragraphs that are there. You might want to take some notes on key terms and definitions that you're not familiar with. Uh, you will be able to use your notes while you're completing the lesson assessment, which is your homework. Uh, so, you know, jot down some notes. Don't be, um, you're not writing a novel, just some important things that you might want to jot down that you might realize that you might not remember. You know, look at your diagram, see what this uh, diagram is about, and so on. And then you'll get to some activities like this one. So here is on calculating income potential. And so, the, you know, it's an exercise where you're going to be answering questions. Now, you need to make sure when you get to uh, basically a little quiz like this that you answer all the questions. So like here, I'll answer the first one. A courier messenger makes $25,440 per year. This is an occupation that does not require college education, and you'll hit submit. Now, notice it says continue here. You need to continue, and then it'll ask you another question. And you need to continue answering the questions, and I'm just going to hit the first one each time and go through until you get to the end. So there might be, I don't know how many, 10, 15 questions. Oops. So answer, submit. Um, and obviously, I'm not really just reading these. I'm just answering them to show you what happens when you get to the end. And you'll get to the end. You'll get your results. And either you will pass. If you didn't pass, go back and retry it. Um, you can review it. Um, you can print it. It doesn't really matter if you want to have that available to study, but I don't think it's really worth it. Just go through, and if you need to, you can review the questions and use it as a study aid. Okay. And, and like I said, you know, once you've been through the lesson once and you've completed all the activities, typically what you'll see, let's see if I can find another one down here that I've done. Like you'll notice there's a lot to read on this. So you should be making sure, I'm just scrolling to kind of show you the overview, but you should be reading through this. So like here, you'll notice that it says, would you like to resume where you left off? So if I have already been in this lesson and I've done some items, it's gonna remember where I was. So you can come, leave and come back, and then you can resume and kind of see where you were. Now, understand that when I am looking for this, I'm going to be looking that you've done everything. Now, obviously, I've already been through, like, let's resume where I left off. And so, obviously, I wasn't finished with this one because I haven't answered all of the questions that are there. I'm not on that screen that says results. Once you have, you know, finished everything and you're down at the bottom, now, before you hit next, what you need to do is you need to come back up to the top. Sorry, I'm using my touch screen to scroll, and then you will mark it as done. The honor policy for the lesson is that you will not mark it as done until you have completed all of the activities. Now, again, I can go back and pull your access report. I can see what time you started it. I can see what you've clicked on. I can see how many clicks you have in there, how many times you went through it. I can see you answering the questions. And if at any time you mark that done so that you can move to the next slide without having done anything or everything that's in there, then I will basically penalize you with an honor violation and you will receive a zero for both the assessment and for this. Because you're not gonna, I'm not gonna give you assessment values without having completed the lesson. So the completion of the lesson must come first. Once you have that done, then you're going to move on. I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and hit the next button. You basically just want to do the next button to move through your items. And when you get to here, this will talk about a little summary of things that are there. You can read through that. Again, this is a view page. And then you'll get to the assessment, which is here. Um, there's sometimes there are some additional things down at the bottom for you to read. So this is also a view page. You can click here on where it says Lesson 82 Quiz, or you can simply hit the Next button and it will take you to the quiz that you're gonna do. 
Uh, now, this is the lesson assessment. So at the end of the lesson assessment, usually you have 10, 5, 10, 15 question quiz that you're going to answer. This is considered your homework. In other words, this is open note, open book. Um, you can have tabs open. We're not worried about you leaving the testing window. It's pretty much just kind of at your learning. And so you can use the lesson, Google, and different things to answer the questions. Right. Uh, the one thing that I will say about this, however, this is an honor policy violation, is when I say that you can use Google or something like Google, what I mean is you can, you're can you looking up different um, viewpoints or looking up definitions and terms. Maybe you're watching Khan Academy, but you're doing something that is going to help you complete the lesson and answer the question. What you are not doing, which is going to be an honor policy violation, is finding the answers to lesson assessments for the economics and personal finance course and using these answers that have been provided to you to answer these questions. Um, so you want to make sure that you're not doing that. You must be answering them yourself or using Google or the lessons to look up the information so that you are learning. Now, once you take the quiz, you get two tries at these lesson assessments. Uh, so the first one, you'll take it, and I took it just kind of randomly answering questions, and I got two out of 10. So I'm not really happy with that. I can review my answers afterward and see the ones that I missed and maybe think about them. You can go look up answers. You can try to investigate, try to find the answers to these questions. And then what you're going to do is you can then go take the quiz again. And then once you take the quiz again, then the highest grade will be recorded in the grade book. Okay. Now, so this lesson, complete the lesson and the lesson assessments, like I said, these are like your class time and your homework. And these are fairly open, pretty much the only thing that is kind of something you shouldn't do in terms of the honor policy is you're not doing them or allowing somebody to complete them for you. It is you reading the material, going through the activities, and then you take the lesson assessment, and you can use resources to look things up and to answer those questions. All right, All right so that's gonna conclude this training video on how to complete the lessons and how to complete the lesson assessments. So we're gonna pause right there, and then we will take you to the next video, which is going to talk about the instructions and the honor policies for the quizzes and for the tests.